Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a cool tool exposed by the React Query team and this tool is called React Query Dev Tool. This tool is very uh, helpful if we have to understand the, the state of the application and how React Query uh, does uh, under the hood and uh, how how are the data saved in our state? So don't waste time and let's jump in it. Okay, to use it, we have to install a new npm package called uh, at the uh, Tunstan Correct Query Dev Tool. So we have to open our terminal and uh, type npm install at the Tunstan slash query uh, dev tool. After the, after the installation, now we have to uh, import it in our application. To use this tool, we have to import it and uh, um, use it inside of our app.ts uh, components. So we can import from tankstan react query dev tool and we can use the component react query dev tool. Then we can uh, use it inside of the app component and uh, we don't uh, worry about uh, the environment because React Query Dev Tool uh, is uh, visible only if your uh, node env variable is uh, equals to development. Otherwise, uh, this, uh, this tool is uh, hide and you don't uh, see it in uh, your uh, HTML page. So now it's time to see the result in the browser. The result in the browser is uh, this. In the bottom left of your browser, you can find the React Query logo and you can click it. And uh, inside of uh, uh, this panel, you can see all the query in your application and you can check the state. For instance, uh, for the to-do, we can click it and show the, the data and the data are the data uh, visible in, um, in, in our application. We can see which uh, data are used in, uh, in, the, in the current view. So in this case, the stale is one because uh, my, my um, application uh, you, uh, use this, uh, this query to show the data in, uh, in the DOM. And uh, for instance, uh, we can uh, refresh, uh, refresh the data. So in this case, uh, the application uh, call again the, the API to show better the result. We can go to the network. And if I click uh, refresh, as you can see, the application call again the API. And uh, for instance, we can remove a result uh, and so on. Okay, I suppose you understand the benefit of uh, have this uh, tool in uh, your application because you can check uh, the status of your application and the status of your query if uh, especially if your application start to growing and you have to check uh, what's happened under the hood in react query so i suppose uh, from this content uh, that's all and uh, you have learned now you can import a React Query Dev Tool in your React Query application and how you can get benefit from it. So I hope you enjoy this content and if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you want to stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.